The question is, what will the Middle East be like in five years' time? Now, some of you may think the supposition is unrealistic. Uh, that case, you didn't see the demonstration of millions of people in Iraq in the last days, weeks. You did not see the extent to which the people are now rising up against U.S. occupation, the U.S. presence in the Middle East. In my opinion, uh, the U U.S. withdrawal from the Middle East will take place much more rapidly than five years, not from everywhere, of course, but in a decisive and region-changing way. A man of my age and class and background rarely weeps, at least in front of other people. Uh, but I did weep when I saw seven-year-old little Kais, the Palestinian boy kidnapped by Israeli settlers and thrown in a well and fished out dead, having frozen to death. And I mention that because one thing that will not change in five years is the occupation of Palestine and the U.S. underwriting of that occupation. That will take much longer than five years. But the extent to which, in public opinion in the world, the scales have decisively shifted in the Israel-Palestine conflict is marked and getting more strong. When I began to work in that field in 1975, you could have fitted all the supporters of the Palestinian people into this studio and had room for a couple of elephants at the back. Now you couldn't fit them into Hyde Park and the genuine supporters, those who are with Israel out of love, could be fitted in this studio. And that is represented all over the world. Of course, not at a state level. Uh, they can still command governments uh, at their whim, but that will eventually change. And the movement for boycott, divestment, and sanctions in the Western world against Israel can only grow, no matter how often they pass laws to try and outlaw it. That will not change in five years. But within five years, there will be no single American soldier present on the soil of the Syrian Arab Republic. Within five years, within five weeks, five months, one year, there will be no American soldier on the soil of Iraq. There is no American soldier in Yemen. There are mercenaries, but they too will be driven out in that period. There are no American soldiers in Libya, though the United States did an enormous amount to destroy Libya and bring it to its current sorry pass. There will be definitely no American soldiers ever in the Islamic Republic of Iran the next five years will bring a decisive change. Of course, there will still be Gulf satrapies with American bases uh, on their soil. There will still be American uh, 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 puppet regimes in the region whose waters and ports can be used by the U.S. Navy. But there will be fewer and fewer. And this will be painted as a strategic shift uh, by the United States. Withdrawal from the region because they no longer have any requirement for the oil and gas of the Middle East. A pivot to Asia, a pivot to other challenges to United States hegemony. What will the Arabs then do with the American free zone that will be uh, the result? That, of course, is an open question. It's my opinion, though, that the shift that will occur in the next five years will shape the Middle East for the better. The axis of resistance to Israel, to American domination, will become stronger and the puppets of the American hegemony weaker. And that will open new possibilities. Of course, there will be other 
attempts to divide and rule the Arabs as there always have been from the British through the Americans involving Israel. People will try to turn sect against sect, religion against religion, even country against country in the Arab Maghreb, uh, a repeated pattern. But I believe, call me an optimist, that those forces will begin to lose strength over the next five years and not gain it. Thank <laughs> you.